This is how you replace the brake discs and brake pads on your BMW. Here you see the tools you'll need. An air impact wrench, a 17mm socket for the wheel bolts, preferably covered with plastic to avoid scratching the rims, a torque wrench for the wheel bolts. You can either use a 120Nm torque socket on an air impact wrench or adjust your torque wrench to 120Nm. A small ratchet with a 6mm allen head. A string cutter. A wire brush. A brake piston wind back tool. A wheel hub cleaning set. A torque wrench. An 18mm socket. A medium sized ratchet with a size 45 torque spit. Some cable ties. Copper ease. Brake cleaner. And of course your new brake parts. First and foremost your brake discs and brake pads. But also we recommend that you always replace your brake wear sensor and the little screw that keeps the brake discs in place while the wheels are removed. Start out by grabbing either your torque wrench or your impact wrench. Put on a 17mm socket for the wheel bolts. We recommend that you use a plastic coated socket in order to prevent scratches to your rim. Loosen the bolts and take off the wheel. Detach the brake pad wear sensor. Grab your medium sized ratchet and put a size 45 torque spit onto it. Loosen the small bolts on the caliper, both front and rear. Next up you are going to use your impact wrench. Loosen the large bolts on the rear side of the caliper. Wiggle the caliper gently and it should come right off. With the brake pads still in the caliper, take your brake piston wind back tool and push the caliper pistons back into the calipers. Then detach the brake pads and pull them out of the caliper. We recommend that you always hang your brake caliper in either a hook or a cable tie. Letting it hang in the brake lines can cause serious damage to the brake lines. Now take your small ratchet and mount a 6mm allen head onto it. Use it to loosen the small screw at the front of the brake disc. Once it's loosened, you are ready to detach the brake disc. Take your impact wrench and mount the wheel hub cleaner. Brush the wheel hub with your wire brush. Spray on some high quality brake cleaner and wipe off the wheel hub. Lubricate the wheel hub lead with some brake lube or copper ease. Install the new brake disc on the wheel hub and tighten the small screw. We recommend that you always replace the old screw with the new one when replacing brake discs. Take the new brake pads and lubricate them with copper ease or brake lube. Slide the brake pads into the caliper. Slide the caliper with the fresh brake pads onto the brake disc. Tighten the bolts at the rear side of the wheel hub. Use the torque wrench to tighten them with a 110 Newton meter torque. Lubricate the small bolts for the caliper with copper ease and insert them into their holes.
tighten the bolt with your ratchet and torx bit. Install the new brake pad wear sensor. Clean the calipers with brake cleaner. Fit the wheel onto the wheel hub. Make sure there isn't any grease or dirt between the hub and the wheel. Insert and tighten the wheel bolts. Use your fingers to screw the bolt in the first few threads to make sure the bolt grabs the thread right. Now you can use your air impact wrench again. Mount your 120 newton meter torque socket and tighten the bolts diagonally. Alternatively, you can use your torque wrench to tighten the bolts while the car is standing still on the ground. Your BMW is now equipped with brand new front brake discs, pads and brake wear sensors.